This is K2 News at 4, on your side. Doug and I wanted to stop by today to thank everybody and, um, and to express just what we know to be true. You all have been working so hard. The people in this office have been working so hard. And you have given so much of yourselves, long days and nights, um, what you are sacrificing in terms of the time you could be spending with other friends and other family. Um, and you're giving yourselves to our country because you love our country and you love Joe and you love me and we know that. In the last hour, Vice President Harris spoke about her campaign on camera. It's the first time she's done that since Joe Biden announced he's dropping out of the race to yesterday. President Biden also breaking a silence by phone. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for K2 News at 4. I'm Deborah Knapp. And I'm Mike Gasway. Harris delivered her message at a campaign office in Delaware. President Biden has yet to be seen on camera since his announcement yesterday. However, in the last hour, he was heard calling into that same campaign office. I know yesterday's news was surprising and uh, it was hard for you to hear, but it was the right thing to do. It's, uh, it, I, I know it's hard because you poured your heart and soul into me to help us win this thing, help me get this nomination, help me win the nomination, and then go on to win the, win the, the presidency. But, you know, you're an amazing team, but we've got a great, great, I think we made the right decision. The president went on to talk about the remainder of his term, which he says he still plans to serve. I'm going to be on the road, and I'm not going anywhere. I won't be on the ticket, but I'm still going to be fully, fully engaged. I've got six months left in my presidency. I'm determined to get as much done as I possibly can, both foreign policy and domestic policy. The president and other top Democrats are endorsing Harris for the Democratic presidential nomination. In just the last few hours, K2 confirms every member of Oregon's Democratic congressional delegation and the governor are now endorsing Harris. Governor Kotek not only backed Harris, but she is an automatic delegate for the Democratic National Convention. Today, just in the last hour, I've announced my support for the nomination of Vice President Kamala Harris for the nomination um, from the Democratic Party to be our next president. She is smart, she is strong, she is the right person to lead our country here in the next four years. Governor Kotek called Vice President Harris again smart, tough, and ready to unite the country. This comes after a short statement Sunday on X thanking Biden for his years of service. We have live team coverage of the fallout from Biden's historic announcement. Tonight, we have the coverage. Political professor Jim Moore joins us in the studio to break down what's next for the Democratic Party. But first, K2's Christina Giardinelli has spent the day talking to local leaders. Several leading Democrats have stepped forward to endorse Harris. Christina, only a handful of Oregonians will have a say in who will be the Democratic nominee. Are these pledged delegates obligated to vote for the vice president since the president endorsed her? Right, that's a good question, and the answer to that question is still not clear. Today I talked to Oregon delegate and Portland City Council candidate Loretta Smith. She says delegates are still waiting for instructions from party leaders in Portland, but Smith says it's pretty clear at this point that Vice President Kamala Harris is the party's best bet. She says she's confident that Kamala has what it takes to win this election for Democrats. Uh, from what I've seen from all the reporting in the last 24 hours, I've seen all these swing state governors um, pledging their public support for uh, Kamala Harris. She's the only person that I've seen that has come out and said, I want to be president. And it didn't hurt that she raised $50 million yesterday. Now, we also reached out to all six of Oregon's congressional delegates who have all thrown their support behind Harris as the nominee. Coming up at 5 p.m., what Smith has to say about the transparency of this process and the biggest challenges she believes Harris will face in November. For now at the Live Desk, Cristina Giardinelli, K2 News. Christina, thank you for that. Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is also endorsing Vice President Harris. She says, in part, it is with immense pride and limitless optimism for our country's future okay. that I endorse Vice President Kamala Harris for President of the United States. She wanted to praise President Biden's decision to drop out. She called him one of the country's most consequential presidents. So we want to turn now to politics professor Jim Moore, who's live in the studio with us. Thank you so much for being here tonight, Jim. Yet again. <laughs> so a lot of talk about what Democrats are starting with now. What needs to happen so the nomination process without a regular primary votes is seen as legitimate? Well, it's the voters will not have a say at all. And so the legitimacy comes from the voters in some way having helped select who the 
the delegates are to the national convention. And so the delegates have got to explain why they're legitimate, why they're there. In a lot of states, it's pretty simple. When you voted for a candidate, you also voted for a slate. In Oregon, that's not the way that it works, uh, but the, we have a legitimate system. It's been done that way for years. They just need to explain it so the voters see there's a connection between what they, how they voted and what happens at the convention. Are Democrats kind of making this up as they go, or is there a process in place? There's actually a, a process. It's the same process there would have been if Biden had been in. They go to the convention, they call all the states, and the states report what their delegate uh, votes are. Now they're going to do it without Biden at the top. So the candidates or the, the delegates who were committed to Biden, don't they won't vote for him. And so they're, they're free to vote for whoever they want to vote for. So if Harris is the only one that steps forward, all these questions of legitimacy are really less urgent. And yesterday you said that other contenders have a small window to jump in. Have you seen anything? No, nothing at all. I thought Joe Manchin was going to get in yesterday. And then by this morning, he wasn't. Um, that, that window was closing. Think of how much uh, Harris has gotten in terms of endorsements. $81 million she raised in 24 hours. You've got to come in now saying, hey, I'm the alternative. And if it's not there by tomorrow, I don't think there's an alternative. Jim, thanks so much. We'll see you right back here at 5 o'clock. Absolutely. Well, this is a de developing story, of course. Our teams are working around the clock to bring you the latest information about the race right here on K2 News. Coming up in about a half hour, we'll break down how Biden-Harris announcements are impacting the GOP's approach.